I'm Wally Merglu here at Pamelson Park in Dumfries, uh, where Queen of the South are preparing to host Rangers. And if Rangers can you win, then the wee Southerners will be in the Champions League. Now we're joined by the wee manager, Ozzy Villain. And Ozzy, how are you feeling? I appear to have lost my accent. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm shitting myself, mate. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome back to Queen of the South. It's Season 5, Episode 15 on the Impossible Dream. Now, the goal is to win the Champions League with this team, and today we can qualify for, well, at least the qualifying rounds for the first time. We host Rangers, we go to Hearts in the final two games of the league season, and it is looking very decent for us, but two tough games against Start. Uh, two good teams as well. Now, one thing I did want to catch you up on is the dressing room atmosphere. Now, things have improved massively since last time we checked in on this. You can see that Cesar Augusto is still unhappy, but he only has three players that are sort of supporting him now. Now, McAllister and Smith, they're off in the summer, and uh, Harry Stone is the backup goalkeeper, so he can be as unhappy as he likes as long as Eastwood is fit. So, that being said, um, you know, atmosphere and managerial support have both gone way, way back up. There are still some unhappy players here, but if you look at it, I mean, Reese Lyon is uh, off in the sea where he can go anytime he wants, preferably this summer. Deshaun Bernard is happy for now. Bermudez and Walker can start all the games they want. So I'm not really concerned about the other unhappy players. It's just whether we can get Cesar Augusto back on side. We should be able to, but uh, you never know. Some, you know. Sometimes these things don't quite work out. Uh, and you can see there that the hierarchy is looking good. We've got good support from sort of the main players in the squad and the social groups. Still not quite coming together as much as I'd like, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens over the summer on that front. Now, there are two games to catch you up on in the league before we get to the final two games. Now, of course, we finished last episode winning against Celtic with 10 men. That put us in a really good position because Rangers had lost to Hearts. So the next game we had was against Hibs. While we were playing Hibs, Rangers were facing Celtic. So let's see what happened there. The only goal came in the second half when Irving got on the end of Lewitzi's flick on. So a big win and it was made even bigger by the fact that Celtic did beat Rangers. So that put us uh, several points clear. <laughs> um, we did struggle to break them down. We missed an early penalty. And I've got to say, when we missed that, I did fear the worst. that It was going to be one of these games where we just couldn't break them down. But away from home, we managed to get a 1-0 win instead of a 1-1 draw. And it was a nice goal, the one that we scored as well. And I did in the end, uh, for the second half, more or less, switch Bernard and uh, Bernard, Bermudez and um, McGrath around. So Bermudez was uh, sitting a little bit deeper. And he did okay. He played a seven. So obviously that, uh, that, that wasn't the worst thing we could do for him. So that being said, we had one more game. It was against Ross County. So let's see what happened there. Krabby and Lutzi gave us an early lead. Before picking out Shakir Omar's run to make it 2-0 at half time. And Bermudez put the cherry on the cake in the second half. So we were really, really good in this game. 3-0, Bermudez smacking in one of his specials. And you can see from the match ratings, everybody played well, which is, which is fantastic news. So if we go and have a quick look at what that means for the league table, we are five points ahead of Rangers. And as I say, there are two games to go. If we avoid defeat against Rangers in this first game, then we will be through. A point for them is not enough. They have to beat us. And even if they were to beat us, they got to play, I think it's Ross County on the final game. We play Hearts. And we would just, I think we essentially, with the goal difference, would just need a point. It does, it's just goal difference, right? It's not head-to-head. -head. Uh, let's just check that before we start here. Uh, league separating rules. Where do we find that? Goal difference, yeah. So results between teams wouldn't come into it until unless goals were all uh, even. And, well, we've got a, a six-better goal difference uh, and if we go and look at goals scored, uh, goals for, so, and we have four goals better off in terms of goals for as well. So it's, uh, it's, everything is in our favor. We just need to not lose at home to Rangers. And we've got this. We will finish in the top two. This is uh, what we're doing here. We're expecting a 4-2-3-1 formation from them. And the team we are sending out, it's Eastwood in goal. Montano, Walker, Bernard and Clark as the back four. It's Bayless, McGrath and Irving. Bermudez in behind Shakir, Omar and Lutzi. We've got lots and lots of link-ups here. Hopefully Clark won't get himself sent off again. Uh, he's just been caught into the Welsh side. So that is uh, you know good news for him. 
Let's hope he celebrates that with victory over his former club. Or just a draw. Just don't lose to your former club. Oh, I insist the game. It makes you so nervous. This is ridiculous. It's the game. Uh, we can see the team sheets there. Uh, there's a few few good players in there. A few names we, we recognize. Chong is a good player, isn't he? That they picked up recently. Gattuso is still their manager. Uh, I think we just ignore the praise. We just play our natural game. And... We've just got to not lose, but that's that's uh, so, it's so much easier said than done. All right, and here we go. The Champions League beckons, and oh, I feel sick. <laughs> Genuinely, it's a game. It's a game. It's a game. All right, and of course, I mean, even if we even if we do lose here, we've still got a second chance at it. That Rangers lost to Hearts really did. It really, it was huge for us, wasn't it? But whilst we were beating Celtic as well. Um, oh, can we get a block in there? Bernard does brilliantly, wins it away. But here come Rangers again. Can Bayless do something? I'm too nervous to talk. Ball over the top. Montano goes up against Chong. Can he stop the cross coming in? He can't. Oh, and Rangers have taken an early lead. And that is the last thing that we needed. Let's give them some encouragement. We've seemed to have had Rangers number all season. And are we going to go and throw it all away? If it comes down to I don't think I'll be able to talk of it if it all comes down to the last game. All right, having seen that, I was tempted to go with a low line. We're going to do it now. Uh, the other thing we might do, if you want to pass out from the back, go and do it. Oh. All right. We just need to settle down, boys. Settle down. We can do this. We're a good team. Um, We're a good team that's not really creating anything. So, all right. So let's get rid of this. Let's raise the tempo. See if we can get something going here. We've had five shots, only one on target, no highlights. And the first half is, is ticking by. All right, so let's try switching these two around. Uh, Bermudez, though, we probably just, <laughs> we probably don't want you defending if I'm completely honest. Montano is looking anxious, which isn't ideal. We do have McCallum on the bench. The issue, I mean, it's not its not an issue necessarily, but this is a midweek game. Uh, having played, who did we play? So we played Ross County on the weekend, and we've got Hearts to come this following weekend. So, yeah, I mean, we've done a little bit better there midway through the half, but let's go, we've been terrible, sort it out. And hopefully we get some sort of reaction from that. If not, I mean, Shakir Omar has not had a great game. Let's give them some encouragement. We're looking motivated, which is obviously a good thing. Lutzi's looking tied. All right. Um, let's have a think about what we can do here. Okay, so we're making two subs. Lutzi's tied, so we're going to take him off and we're going to bring on Suljic. We're going to switch Shakir Omar over to the advance forward. We're taking Bermudez off as well. We're bringing on Thompson for him and Irving will drop in and be the deep-lying playmaker, which is absolutely fine. He is more than capable of playing that for us. And we've got a highlight. Ball comes forward. Can we win that with Bernard? We can. Clark has it to uh, Bayless, back to Clark. Can Suljic get something going here for us? Clark to Bayless, Bayless to McGrath. McGrath, cross field. Oh, it's an interesting way to pass the ball back to your goalkeeper, but it's effective. We're not even at the, we're not even at the hour mark yet. There is still plenty of time. We're only one goal down and a draw does it for us. A draw is enough. Irving, he, nice ball there. Oh, oh my, look at Thompson's run. Oh, Suljic is through. Suljic, he's digged in and he's done it. The back here, Suljic. A 14th of the season and we draw level. Just on the hour mark. 
And, well, we were, there were runs going on everywhere there, but eventually we picked out, look at that run from Thompson. Oh, he was probably right not to play at Shakiro Mark because he would have been offside. And what a cool finish from the substitute Suljic. Not been on the field for that long. And he's come up and scored a huge goal. A huge goal in the history of uh, Queen of the South, never mind the game or the season. All right. Do we want to do anything else now, or do we just want to keep going with this? 11 shots now, two on target. We are playing the better of the two teams. Is it going to be a case of just a slow start and maybe maybe we get away with it? Oh, there's 10 minutes to go. This is enough. Five points will be enough with one game to play. Let's go back to just balanced. Let's tell them to focus. Come on. Come on. Oh, we don't want to highlight. We're in the 90th minute. A goal here. A goal here for us. It's Champions League football. A goal for Rangers. We'll keep it going. And Eastwood, has he just saved us? Oh, it's a massive block as well. Walker, I think it was. Are those two massive interventions that take us into the Champions League? Let's shut this mofo down. That was far, far too close. Um, transition, let's regroup, let's slow it down. And we're in stoppage time. Come on, guys, come on. <laughs> We've done it. We will be in the Champions League next season. We rode our luck in that one. We've got the equal. Look at that XG on the chances at the end there. But we have done enough. We will be in the Champions League. So there we go. With one game to play, we are five points ahead of Rangers. And we have secured our best ever finish. But there it is. We will be in the Champions League. Now, it's just the qualifying rounds. We will almost certainly be knocked out. We've got 110 grand in wage budget, 3.1 million to spend. Uh, the Europa League place goes to the league because it's ourselves and Celtic, the two Champions League clubs, of course, that have... Uh, that have gone through now we might need to suggest resting walker because yeah just for the next just for the next match yeah okay that's fine because we do have the promise with him to you know for game time so hopefully that'll take that into account and of course the game after that is the cup final now wage budget so we're already basically spending that because i can't run i can't keep to a wage budget apparently but we've, we've got money to spend there 80 percent if we want to sell somebody on to cash in on them but we've done it we're in the champions league all right so we will be back and we're going to come back and finish the season off against hearts and it's a it's a massive free hit now we can rest players ahead of the cup final which is huge as well oh that's satisfying Okay, now before we get to this final uh, league game of the season, we do need to vote on your viewers player of the year. Now, a massive thank you to everybody who nominated players or play, yeah, players. And uh, we had two players that had more than one nomination. It's amazing. You guys use the number of players that get nominated. It's really cool. But um, it, on this occasion, there was only two that had more than one. So those are the two that are getting put forward for the award. So the first in alphabetical order is Tom Bayless, a wonderful signing he's been for us this season in midfield. Nine goals, two assists, an average match rating of 709 for him and the second one is a great great goal scorer for this club it's Fabian Lutzi 21 goals 10 assists and an average match rating of 7.41 so you guys probably know how this works by now at the top of the uh, description below there'll be a link click on that it'll take you through to a straw poll uh, make sure you vote on who you want to be as who you think has been our best player or your favorite player this season and we'll announce the winner at next episode's end of season awards all right, now, before we get to the Hearts game, I have one manager of the year, so congratulations to me. That is always a nice little bonus, isn't it? But uh, we're up to the final game of the league season. There is absolutely nothing to play for for us. And, uh, well, this is what we are doing. It's a 4-2-3-1 formation. Same thing that we got from Rangers. It's what we're expecting from Hearts. And with nothing to play for, we are going to rotate, uh, get a little bit of match fitness into some uh, reserve players in case we need them in the cup final. And there's no point risking to be honest, there's no point risking uh, the first team stars. So it's going to be Stone getting a game in goal. We haven't seen much of him, but he's decent enough. 
So just in case we need him in the cup final, we'll give him a game here. McCallum, Cesar Augusto, uh, the winge up, he is going to get a game here. Hopefully he'll play well. Hamilton and Freeman will be the rest of the back four. McPherson, Davenport, who I think will be starting the final. Uh, we're going to use him in that deep lying playmaker position that we had him in uh, when we beat uh, Celtic in the league. So he'll uh, he'll get some game time here to sharpen up. Thompson as well in midfield. Bermudez, he, we promised him game time. We'll let him play this one. I don't know if I want him to start the final, if we just want to have him on the bench as an option, if we need him uh, sort of later on in the game. Clockerty and Soljic will get the starts up top. And, uh, well, hopefully, we've got uh, some players on the bench. We might give a farewell appearance to Colby Bishop. His contract is up at the end of the season. He's 29. He's done well for us, but I'm not convinced that there's not better options out there for us. Uh, Sean Goss is another one. His contract has another year to run, but I'm not sure. He... he He's evergreen. I'm sure he'll be around next season. What am I saying? Oh, the other person on the bench is Callum Reed. He's a youngster that will be making his debut if he does come off the bench. And hopefully, uh, we'll get the opportunity to do that. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. I do love Mick Team as a name. <laughs> it's just, it's a good one, isn't it? Uh, do we recognize Liam Shaw? Now, of course, we had him at uh, Sheffield Wednesday, but he was with Celtic at the start of the uh, of the game. Reese Devine, of course, from Manchester United as well. Uh, this Brogia is a good player that we've looked at, but uh, there's no one there that's... Uh, what do you want to say here? Yeah, let's just keep the run going. That's uh, probably a good enough thing to say. And pump our fists, get out there and see what we can do to finish on a high. So yeah, hopefully you you understand and agree with uh, with what we've done here in terms of team selection. There's there's nothing to play for. We're going to finish second in the league, which is incredible. So now I think we really do just need to turn our focus to the cup final. And yeah, I don't see I don't see any benefit of playing players that have already played twice in a week against uh, Ross. I know who was it against Ross County? Yeah, Ross County and and Rangers. So. Uh, this is what we're doing. We probably won't give Davenport the whole 90 minutes. We'll probably look to give him maybe an hour just to get it some some minutes in his legs. Then I'll probably bring on Hardy if the game's going okay, just because I do want him to train on a little bit better for us, if at all possible. Um, not much of a game. No shots on target through 20-odd minutes, 25 minutes. Celtic have uh, got a quick-fire double there against Hibs. All right, this is getting ridiculous now. So let's... Uh, <laughs> let's do this um we'll keep working the ball into the box i wonder if maybe the overlap is is not working for us so much i think the issue we kind of have a little bit is that we almost have to play what's freeman done to himself a tight groin you don't want to just we'll stay on till half time and then we can bring razayev on to play back there for you and, well, that's a half that I'll live long in the memory, isn't it? Did we even have a highlight? So I'm going to say we're not uh, not particularly not particularly pleased with that. We'll pump our fists, say we've got faith in you to make the difference. And we'll go and make that change. Uh, we'll bring Rezaev on for Freeman. Do we actually want Rezaev to play in midfield and McPherson to drop back? Uh, that might make a little bit more sense, mightn't it? So we'll do that. I'm still not completely sure if I expect Razayev to make it with us or not. I mean, he's got a high value. So, I mean, if I'd sell him for an instant for a million pounds, I'll tell you that. But yeah, I'm not completely sure what to make of him yet. But we'll give him a sum up. We're coming up to the point where I might take Davenport off for Hardy. Oh, we've got a highlight. Let's wait for this. I mean, it doesn't really matter what will happen. We'll take Davenport off anyway. Oh, Hamilton, what has he done there? Broja and Augusto gets back to clear off the line. All right, he does have a little bit of batting still. Let's try a demand more. Let's take Davenport off. It maybe is a little bit risky taking off club captain. But uh, again, there's there's no benefit in us to, to risking anybody we want for the final. What do we need to do to get a highlight here? All right, so let's take it off work ball into the box then. We have one more sub. I was really hoping to get Reed on, and I kind of wanted to give a farewell appearance to Bishop. And that's a miss. How's he done that? And unfortunately, we can't do both. So let's get... Uh, let's give the farewell appearance to Bishop. 
He's been a good player for us. He scored some cracking goals, hasn't he? Some really good goals. One goal of the season. Was it last season, I think? But this is a game that uh, will not live long in the memory. Stone with a free kick. Or a goal kick, even. Suljic. Did he win that? I'm not sure if he won that or if he lost it. But either way, Razayev has it. He gets it in there for Bermudez. Wide for McPherson. Ball in. Oh, it's a terrible pass. And highlight continues. Can we win that? Well, we can sort of eventually. Bermudez plays it through there for Suljic. Bishop's in a little bit of space if he squares it. Oh, he's gone back for McCallum. Now, Hearts have recovered defensively there, haven't they? Thompson to Hardy. Hardy to Bermudez. Bermudez, oh, I thought he was going to unleash. We shuffle it across for uh, McPherson. He's got so much space. There's the ball in. It's an own goal, but we'll take it. It's Liam Shaw, I think. It is Liam Shaw. But in the 88th minute, we have taken the lead at Tyne Castle. And I thought Bermudez for sure was going to have a, have a go there. But look at the space McPherson has. He pulls a good ball across. And to be fair to Liam Shaw, if he hadn't got a, a foot in there, Suljic was going to do the same thing, wasn't he? Let's give them some praise. It's been a terrible game of football, but are we about to win at 1-0? It looks as though that might be the case. Bishop signs off with a win. And there we go. A wonderful season for us. Finishes on, I guess it's a high. It was a terrible game of football. It was a terrible high, but it was a high. Um, yeah, we got the result despite not being at our best. And they say that's the sign of a good side, don't they? Rangers falling in a heap, losing to Ross County. And, well, that looks very comfortable, doesn't it? That's an eight-point gap now between ourselves and Rangers. And perhaps even more impressive, a 20-point gap all the way back there to Hearts. So we have very much proven ourselves to be, uh, well, definitely best of the rest. But even, even more so than that, um, you know, second. You know, if you include Rangers in the rest. But that will do it for today. The league season has concluded. You can see the standings there. Oh, if we can go to here. Inverness have been relegated. And uh, Livingston have um, have gone to the playoff. Now, our defeat against uh, Chelsea. That was against Chelsea. Against Celtic. When we beat them. That was their only loss of the season. So we denied them an invincible season. And 100 points. All with 10 men. Very, very uh, nice indeed, isn't it? But that, as I said, will do it for today. We will be back next time. Don't forget to go and vote for your viewers' player of the year because we'll have our end-of-season awards, our goal of the season competition, but also the Scottish Cup final against Celtic. It's, uh, it's going to be a challenge. Celtic, well, they didn't win it last year, but they're certainly regular participants in the final. We've made it once before when we've been in charge and lost to Celtic, so could we get a little bit of revenge for that, which would be very nice. Uh, it's only the second final in the club's history. Can we go and finish this thing on a high? 7.7 .7 million. We'll get a little bit of money for the Scottish Cup. A little bit more money out of uh, the Europa Conference League. We've got our budget for next season. We're in the Champions League. I'll see you next time for a cup final. Take care.